I'm Alan Cody and I'm the company director for SAS Transition. So today we're going to energise one of our transformers. We've done all the commissioning, we've checked all the documentation, all the quality checks have been done and we've confirmed that. The guys have filled out an energisation request and this has went through to the, the QAQC team, the, the commissioning team and ourselves. So just now we've, we've came into the switch room, we're just getting set up to do a 5 kV mega test to energise one of our first RMUs. It's never been energised before, so we need to do a 5 kV mega test to check the integrity of the cable. So the next stage is now is to get an electrical power to work. We're then going to prove dead. Tony's is going to prove dead full in the apartment there. Once we prove it's dead to save, we can derobe some of our arc flash equipment. We're going to disconnect the VTs, and then we're going to perform the test. This is a calibrated machine. I've connected them together, shorted them out. So when I do the test, this will show you that the meter's working. As you can see there, 0 0.01 mega ohms. So that would be, if I was between phase and earth, that would show that I had a, a straight forward, straight path across it. I'll separate them now. And you see it going right up. So uh, it's proven that the meter's working. So as we're doing a sandwich for test, we need to remove the earth. First, before we remove the earth, we need to connect the conductors. test with the cables going up to the RMU it's testing to make sure there's no leakage to earth. The cables have all been VLF tests, we've witnessed all the commissioning packs to make sure everything's complete and ready for it. This is just our last minute test before we energise to say that we've checked the integrity of the cable. My career path in electrical engineering came from oil and gas. I started a modern apprenticeship with Rapido, which was a HNC and then a, a two year offshore on the oil rigs. And I got sponsored by a company called Apache NRC. Lots of good experience. I then moved into drilling and different aspects of commissioning offshore and I worked in the oil and gas industry for about 11 years. What motivated me to start SAS Transition was from my transition from oil and gas to data centres. I noticed the competency gap from what I had offshore to what I seen in the data centre industry. How things need to be proceduralised better and make things safer, make sure you're using the right people to carry out these complex tasks. This here, this is the last thing that we attach into the, the VCV once it's in the umbilical. Um, basically this is all the control cables that be on the control six that feed under the breaker. This is what sends all the signals like the open signals, the closed signals and also status of the breaker as well. If that there is disconnected, um, you won't see anything to do with this with this VCB on any of the relays or the HMI out there. So it's very important to make sure that we have this in tight before we work on it. Our mission is uh, to provide safety from the system. We have senior authorised persons in commission management to keep people safe and to keep the operators safe. Currently we have two projects in Amsterdam, just completed a project in Belgium. We also operate in, in UK and elsewhere and oil and gas and renewable industry as well. I like electrical engineering, I enjoy the camaraderie you get with it with the guys and the team. But not only that, it's how we're serious about the job. And different systems, I like to see different systems, different technologies. And I do enjoy maintenance, but I prefer the commissioning aspect of it. And it excites where I'm going now as a company director. I'm growing in a different way where I'm, I'm starting to mentor my boys, teach my boys, you know, seeing the new guys coming up. Right, earth off, right? Ah, okay. Now we're going to, so all our earths are off. Close, dead bus close. That's a bad. There you go. Not the... <laughs> <laughs> so we're completely dead, all our earths are moved. This is dead, ready for the transformer. So as we do, control power's on. We'll now lock everything back off, do the exclusion zone, and then we'll go downstairs and we'll, uh, the guys are going to energise. Me and James are going to stay up here to make sure nobody can get access to here and we'll energise the transformers, which will then power up the the, MV, uh, the, the LV switchboard. So this is the remote, remote HMI. Uh, we, we like to switch from here because it takes away anybody switching physically right at the, the panel and cells. You always try to take yourself further away from the action as possible. Inside on the switch gear, you have a local switch or remote switch. So whenever you're using the HMI here, you must make sure you're in remote or else this operation won't work with the MV panel in there. Okay. Floor, are you ready? Okay. Yeah, I'll go to call back. Yeah, I can confirm we've got an exclusion zone set up. Nobody else is up here at the transformer. You are safe to energise. Just let me know and give me a countdown when you're doing so. Okay, no problem. Okay, Florian, do you want to operate this here? Yeah. Okay, we're ready to energise now. Uh, whenever you're ready, just let us know. Yeah, confirm, go ahead. 
clear to energize. Energizing in three, two, one, close. Energized. Can you confirm? I can confirm. I can hear the transformer coming. Yeah, we're energized up here. I'll give it ten minutes before I head to check the room. Uh, can you confirm we have all the units in your head? Yeah, no problem. I'm going to confirm. Voltage is here now. As you can see here, this is our voltage indicator. Once all three is blinkering, flashing red, this is telling you that there's a voltage on the cable. Um, if you can see up here now, we have our voltage reading of 10.4, 10.3, 10.4. And also, this light was previously green as open. It has now been red and down to tell you that there's power going through to the transformer, okay? No, no signs of partial discharge. Uh, everything seems good. The most rewarding thing is making an impact and in, in difference in the industry and you know things can be done easier, things can be done simpler and, and it still doesn't impact safety so that's, that's the most rewarding is my men and, and how, we're, how we're developing our systems and procedures and just, just getting better.